Welcome to this episode of Unraveling Adoption, an intentional space to delve into adoption's complexities together. I'm Beth Syverson. I'm an adoptive mom of a sparkly and talented 20-year-old son, Joey, who is trying to launch as an adult. I'm walking beside him while working on my own personal growth and healing. I'm also a certified coach, helping primarily adoptive parents. Joey and I are committed to helping anyone impacted by adoption, and we want to help the general public understand adoption's complexities better, too. Well, today's guest is me. I was on vacation last week with my wife, and instead of sending in a replay or hastily throwing together an episode overworking, I thought I'd create a short episode with just myself, giving you an update of what's going on over here at Unraveling Adoption and providing lots of resources and ways for you to get involved at whatever level works for you. So the biggest update I have for you is the impending birth of our first book in the Unraveling Adoption book series. Joe and I wrote the book along with 14 other contributors, and it's called Adoption and Suicidality, an anthology of stories, poems, and resources for adoptees, families, healthcare professionals, and allies. We are self-publishing the book, and it's going to be short, about 100 pages, and we're going to make it as a PDF, ebook, an audiobook, and a paper book. We have this vision for it to be a way to open up conversations about suicide. Now, I know, obviously, this is not a pleasant conversation for anyone to have, And honestly, you don't hear people talking about it much, but we think it's extremely important based on our own history with suicidality and also knowing that adoptees are four times as likely to attempt suicide. According to the statistics, it's probably even much greater than that. So we think it's a super important topic. And I found 14 people who are willing to write with me. They contributed poems and essays and letters. I want to just lift off the contributors for you because I bet maybe you know some of these people. There were 11 adoptees, Bruce Porth, Janelle Struby, Etta Ridgehouse, Pamela Caranova, Kylie Flynn, Tony Hines, Jody Moore, Greg Rostron, Anessa Pfeiffer, and Melissa Brunetti. So let's see, Janelle, Ridgehouse, Tony, Greg, And Melissa have been guests on the podcast before, so you might remember them and you might know some of the others from being in the adoption space. And all of these adoptees have had personal struggles with suicidality or have had suicide attempts, and they share personal stories and poems and insight into their own suicidality, which I think is so important for all of us to hear right from the adoptee's own experience. Then we have three mothers that contributed to the book, and these mothers lost their children to suicide. So two are birth mothers, Laura Engel and Lorraine Dusky. Dusky was also a guest on the show a while ago, and one adoptive mother, Terry Dreismeyer. So I'm so grateful for them to share their poignant and heart-wrenching stories of losing their children to suicide It's so important that we open ourselves up to these stories from these brave and vulnerable mothers who are willing to share. I'm so grateful to all of them. And then the foreword to the book is written by the adoptee and psychotherapist, Dr. Joyce McGuire Pavo. We are so happy to have her on board and lending her credentials to this book because obviously I'm not a therapist. I am not a doctor. I have no fancy letters after my name. I just want to help people understand suicidality better and be able to support their adoptees better. But she shares our vision for helping adoptees. So I'm super grateful to everyone, including my son, who helped me write the main part of the book. The book, by the way, has three sections. The part that Joey and I wrote about our own family story of suicidality. The middle section has those 14 contributors, poems, and essays. And the third section has a list of resources for everyone if they're looking for help in any way. There's videos, podcast episodes, books, therapists, and all sorts of ways we can help in that intersection of adoption and suicidality. So if you are interested in helping us launch this book, you can join our book launch team. And what that means is that you would get a free copy of the book ahead of time, either audio or ebook, and you would help us 
share on social media, write reviews, and just help us get the word out to all the people in your circle. We're particularly hoping to get this book into therapist's hands, pediatrician's hands, adoption agencies, hopeful adoptive parents, and people with struggling teens, you know, whoever in your circle you think might be able to benefit from this information and these insights into suicidality. So if you'd like to be on the book launch team, look for the link in the show notes below this episode. You can find the show notes, uh, just scroll either down or scroll sideways, depending on where you are on a phone or a desktop or whatever. There's going to be a giant list of resources for you. So hopefully that's helpful. So you can sign up for the book launch team. I'm looking for a hundred people. So there's room for more of you. And once I hit a hundred, that'll be it. And if you're not able to be on the book launch team, you will definitely be hearing about it in the coming weeks. We hope to have it out by the end of July. By the way, the next book in the series, we're going to have a series of these small 100-page books with contributions from other people. So they'll be in the similar format, and they'll be about different topics intersecting with adoption. So the next one's going to be adoption and sacred plant medicine or psychedelics. The one after that, I think, is going to be about adoption and ADHD. So if you're interested in collaborating on either of those two topics, please let me know. I'll also be sending out little notices on social media and on my email list if you want to get involved. Make sure you're on my email list, by the way. I send out a weekly email with our latest podcast and whatever events are coming up and offers and uh, ways to get involved. I also send reminders about resources, which I'm going to tell you about just in a second. But if you want to get those in writing every week into your email, go ahead and sign up for our, our email list. You can Find us easily on our website, unravelingadoption.com. There's a button to push to get on our email list there, or there will be a link below as well in the show notes. In addition to the book, which has been my main focus lately, but I want to also highlight a couple of other things. We are collaborating with wonderful podcast guests. We have some really interesting podcasts coming up. Uh, They're almost always adoptees, but from different points of view, different demographics, different situations. And I have become more topical with the podcast, trying to really focus on one issue at a time. So stay tuned for more wonderful podcast guests coming up next week. I will also have a podcast in a couple of weeks featuring the people that were in the book. So stay tuned for more podcast guests and make sure if you haven't already, oh man, it would really help us out if you could go rate and review the podcast on Apple or on Spotify. Even if that's not where you listen to it, they don't care, uh, but they they do weight those reviews and the number of ratings that you have. It, it really helps other people be able to find us. So if you could help us out by taking just a moment and go write a short review, that would really help us out. Thank you so much for doing that. Another way I'm collaborating with other people, I'm finding this is really rewarding for me and doors continue to be opening for me regarding collaborating with people across the adoption constellation. I don't know if you heard last week's episode with me and Miyoki Guro and Leslie Pate McKinnon. So an adoptive parent, an adoptee, and a birth parent together talking about healing. And I love doing that. I love collaborating with people across the constellation. And I feel like not many people are doing this kind of cross-pollination, and I'm feeling very led to do that. So one of the ways I'm doing that is through the Healing the Adoption Constellation database. It's a list of 80-plus practitioners of all types. So I'm in there as a coach, plus there are hypnotists, there are therapists, there are consultants, there are Reiki masters, there are yoga teachers, and they're all either in the adoption constellation themselves or they're allies and they work with people in the adoption constellation. So it's a great way for you to find a practitioner for yourself or a loved one. And we have bi-monthly meetings where the practitioners get together and we collaborate and we have grand visions for things that we can do together, working toward healing in our communities. So if you are a practitioner yourself and want to be involved, look below for the link for that, or just go find the database, which is at unravelingadoption.com slash healing. So you can access the database itself and underneath the database is a button you can push to join the database if you're a practitioner. 
We also have the community calendar. So unravelingadoption.com slash calendar. There are all sorts of events, support groups, conferences, camps, webinars, all sorts of things related to adoption and occasionally some really good ones about addiction or mental health. And a lot of them are free. So if you're looking for support, if you're looking for more engagement, more community building, go find the calendar, unravelingadoption.com slash calendar. Underneath that, you'll also find a place to enter your own events if you have events that aren't already on there. For those of you who are interested in going a little deeper with Unraveling Adoption, we would welcome you into our Patreon. Patreon is a great way to support people financially, creators, and people providing content directly. And you can join our Patreon for as little as $5 a month. And I actually have three levels, but they all get the same benefits. So I would make it very... uh, kind of like a socialist version of Patreon (laughs) because you don't get anything more when you are able to pay more, but I wanted to make it accessible for everybody. And what you do get is early podcast releases on Saturdays instead of Mondays. You get some special behind the scenes notes and pictures sometimes, and you get 50% off live events and you get access to the adoption on screen database, which is a really useful database if you like watching movies and TV shows, but don't like getting sideswiped by adoption content that you didn't realize was there. You go look up the TV show or the movie on the adoption on screen database, and you'll find out what adoption content is in that show. So it's great for parents or people who get really triggered by things that they didn't expect. And if you want to add anything to that, Patreon members can add their own shows or their own reviews or suggestions in that adoption on screen database. So those are the things our Patreon supporters get. I would like to highlight the names of our Patreon supporters. They've been so loyal and dedicated. Many of these are adoptees and adoptive parents, and some are just allies that really believe in the work that we're doing here. Here are our current Patreon members, Adair Small, Betsy Saris. Bruce Porth, Camille Hatton, Charlene Spearing, Ava Goodwin Noriega, Greg Rastron, Janet M. Simons, Jenny Becknell, Joe Leitner, Laura Gethard Beach, Lisa Byralsley, Elsie Curry, Mar Onis, Margaret Priver, Miriam Freeman, Nancy Collins, Nina Smith, Patricia Meyer, Rebecca Autumn Sansom, Steve Morehero, Sue Chapman, Susan Shaw, and Wendy Bancroft. Many, many thanks to all of you and all of you in the future who are going to be able to sign on and support our mission here. This helps me pay for the podcast. There are fees involved with the podcast. I don't know if you know, to distribute it, to record it, to send you our newsletters. There's all sorts of fees. So the Patreon support really helps to kind of break even there. So I really appreciate all of you. And if you're interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, it's very easy and you can get out of it at any time too. I always want to make sure people know it's not like joining the gym and it's impossible to get out. It's very easy to get in, out, or to change the amount. And you just go to patreon.com slash unraveling adoption. And the link for that is also below. And lastly, I wanted just to remind you that I am a coach, a certified coach through the Virginia Satir Global Network. I feel very passionately about this type of coaching I do. It's very coachy led. It is validating your experience, drawing on your own inner wisdom and guiding you toward the solutions that you seek. And I offer a free 15 minute intro call to anyone. And also, if you want to try a session out, it's only $35 for the first session. And if you mention this podcast episode in the month of July 2024, you will get 50% off the three-session coaching package. So if you're in on the fence or thinking about it, but like, ah, oh, it's so much money. Well, here's your 50% coupon if you book us in the month of July and just mention this podcast episode to get your 50% off. Uh, My son, Joey, by the way, is uh, I'm still very much in connection with him, even though he's back living at his dad's. We just went out to lunch today. He is uh, working hard to figure out how to launch (laughs) as an adult. I know that he is not alone in that. And it's just been a really tough time for him lately. But he is continuing to wake up every day and do this life, which I'm extremely grateful for. We are so very connected. He's very helpful with the book and other projects as well. He and I have been on a couple of podcasts lately, so that's pretty exciting. I'll put some of those links in the show notes below. 
And we are just going to continue to try to help other people as much as we can. And in case any of you are wondering, I do ask him every couple of weeks, are you still okay with everything being out there in the world about our story? And he says, yes, mom. Yes, mom. Yes. We need to get our story out. We need to help other people. So just want to make sure everybody knew that. I appreciate all of you so much for listening. Thanks for listening to this little update. I will have really great content for you next week as I will have more time to put the episode together. And I am trying to work on my workaholism. So this episode is part of that. (laughs) I'm trying to lighten my load just a little bit, but I hope this update was helpful for you. I hope maybe you grabbed onto some of the resources that we're offering, or maybe you can be more connected with us. If you would like to get a hold of us and give us any comments or feedback about the podcast or any of our other projects, you can email me at any time at beth at unravelingadoption.com. Thank you very, very much. We love you. We wish you the best. We are walking right alongside with you all. Thank you so much. Stay safe. 